Ukraine has become one place where families and friends of Ukrainian refugees come to seek safety for their loved ones who have escaped the war. VOA News' Celia Mendoza witnessed these efforts a few meters from the United States port of entry, El Chaparral, at the San Diego-Tijuana, Mexico border. On this day, walking on a high bridge in Tijuana, Mexico, U.S. citizen Chris Hosha is thankful he was able to leave Ukraine with his mother and father-in-law. So they left Ukraine five days ago. Um, and so um, that was one of the big parts that we were worried about. Chris Hosha says his family had no choice but to leave after seeing how the war in Ukraine was unfolding. He met his mother and father-in-law in Poland after they managed to flee Ukraine. They took a bus and uh, they were able to get out that way. It was a long bus ride, about a 12-hour bus ride. The couple, who speaks only Ukrainian, arrived with one suitcase. It is a tale like many others at the Tijuana-San Diego border. According to U.S. authorities, nearly 3,000 Ukrainians have entered the U.S. since the war began. Officials recently opened pedestrian crossings in the border city of Tijuana at the Chaparral port of entry, that is known in Mexico or Pet West, as the walkway is known north of the border. Regardless of the name, the port has been opened solely for processing Ukrainian refugees seeking asylum. The United States and Mexican authorities are working together. It will particularly benefit this population through the enabling and open modules as PED West. And through these modules, they will be able to assist families to expedite their request. Mexican authorities say with the help of volunteers, they're rapidly processing asylum seekers through the port. 50 Ukrainian refugees are reportedly crossing into the U.S. there every two hours. We take them from here to the airport, or if they have to stay here for two or three days, we put them in the church. We have a place to stay, to let them stay. Even though the Pet West Access Port is currently receiving Ukrainian refugees, U.S. authorities have not yet confirmed that it will open the port to everyone when Title 42 expulsions cease at the end of May. Title 42 was implemented in 2020 at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic by the Republican President Donald Trump. Citing security issues, it allowed immigrants to be expelled expeditiously without many being able to apply for asylum. According to Customs and Border Protection data, since March 2020, 1.7 million migrants have been sent back to Mexico or their home countries. As of right now, the authorities in the United States have only confirmed that this border crossing known as El Chaparral Pedwes will be open to help Ukrainian refugees.